And here is a matchup much anticipated. This is a, another 60 kilogram bout between two highly, highly decorated amateurs. Robson Konexayo. He is from Brazil. Vasil Lomachenko is from the Ukraine. And both of these boxers have plenty of world experience. Kim Siguan, the referee from Korea, he is going to have the best seat in the house. Julie Pizarro Pogi, Madfua Putsajidis, and Sida Yakub are the judges. Let's take a brief look at the resumes here. Robson Kanseao, he was in the Summer Olympics of 2008 in Beijing. He lost 12 4 of the first preliminary round. And in 09, he was at the Aibo World Championships in Milan, where he lost to Yasnir Toledo of Cuba, 21-7, in the preliminary. He also took the 2011 second Pan American Game qualifier in Quito, Ecuador gold, as well as the 11 World Military Game first place medal in Rio de Janeiro. Lomachenko, to his credit, also in the 2007 Aibo World Championships, he got second place with a loss to Albert Selimov, his Perhaps some say arch rival who actually got disqualified earlier in this tournament. Tournament many thought we'd see the rubber match. They each had one against the other going into this, including the Olympic Games in 2008, where Val uh, uh, Lomachenko was a participant, and he actually beat Albert Selimov in the first preliminary round and ultimately went on to grab the gold in 2008. He also took first place in the 2009 Aiba World Championships in Milan, first place in the Ukrainian National Championships in 2010 and 11. An extremely smart and clean boxer is Lomachenko. Real exciting to watch. He's on the highest of high levels when it comes to amateur boxing. Konsasau, Konsan Chao from Brazil in the red corner, Lomachenko from the Ukraine in the blue corner. Lomachenko very light on his feet. You can see he moves in and out with the utmost of ease, like a well oiled piston. His hips just continue to move in and out, his legs, his upper body. He's one perfectly oiled machine in the ring and it shows he also throws punches like a battering ram in one of his earlier bouts in this tournament he stopped his man with a vicious liver shot a left hook rather yeah it was a left hook to the body at that time and boy his opponent went down and could not get up that was it lights out in the second round so Lomachenko not one to be reckoned with but Konosau also, not too shabby. First round has been pretty even. Lomachenko continuing to press the action. He wants to go back to London. He wants a second gold medal on his wall at the Olympics. Kohn Chanel, he'll, he'll take his first if he could get it. But first, he's got to get through the stiffest of competition here in Vasil Lomachenko. Good defense by Coach now. Robson st starting to figure out a game plan. It looked like he came in here just to, at least at first, to measure his man, but now he realizes the time for studying in ring is over and he needs to start effectively scoring points. Lomachenko, and by the way, this is a good technique by Robson here. If he could continue to hold the arms and fluster Lomachenko, he may be able to steal some points during the infighting. It looks like it's his intention to do that, whereas Lomachenko doesn't like having his arms held. And you can see the referee is going to caution Robson, so he does have to be careful because three cautions will equal a warning for the same violation, and there's one of them right there. Nice chopping left hand by Robson. Scored to the head of Lomachenko. And again, they're tying up there. This time it wasn't as much Robson's fault, but a nice shot by Lomachenko. Seemed to buckle Robson just a bit. 
Left to the body, a right to the body, a left up the middle, and a right hand, all to end round number one, and all by Vasil Lomachenko. So Lomachenko goes back to his corner, and we see the score is all tied at 5-5. So it doesn't get closer than that. These are two very skilled tacticians. They're both fast. They're both young. They're both around 23 years old, each born in 1988, just a few months apart. And you can look at some of the action. There's a nice left hand by Lomachenko. That's the one that pushed Robson back and off balance. Very tight fight so far. And as the referee is going to send both boxers to the corner. And now he's going to let it continue with the sounding of the bell for round one. And Lomachenko comes firing out first. Rights and lefts by Robson. Robson, the taller fighter, the longer arms. He also would be well served to not let Lomachenko in. But it seems like Lomachenko has such good footwork that he's going to find a way in. It's not a question of if, it's a question of how and when. But he will get there, which is probably why Robson figures, well, I'm not going to keep him from getting inside, but maybe what I could do is fluster his efforts when he is inside. That's why we perhaps saw the, the holding of the arms down there in the clinch, which seemed to be an effective strategy and really flustered. Lomachenko doesn't like, Lomachenko loves to throw his hands. And when his hands are, are tied up and restricted, it bothers him. Almost looks like the way a claustrophobic person would feel in an elevator, like get me out of here. He doesn't have much patience for it. And anything to fluster Vasil is gonna be a benefit to Robson. So now Vasil continues to throw punches from the inside from all angles. Nice right hand to the body followed by a left hook upstairs and now back down to the body. Look at the variation of punches being thrown by Lomachenko. Look at the way he turns. He gets out of harm's way. He constantly keeps his opponents on edge because he's constantly turning them and you can see the score right there a close up it was 5-5 in round one and Vasil just really feisty he's really hard to hold down and Robson to his credit is doing a wonderful job I'm not sure how to judge a seat halfway through round two but there's a sharp jumping right hand a lunging right hand by Lomachenko seems to have caught Robson off guard and even landed. And now Robson goes down, but that looks like it's gonna be the result of a slip more than anything else. Referee's gonna separate them and boxing resumes. We're almost at the end of the quarter mark here for the evening session, about an hour in. And we are watching two of the best fighters in this tournament go at it right here. Both former Olympians, both world champions, or let me take that back, both world championship participants. So between the two of them, they're at the highest level that you could be at in this sport. Nice sneaky right hand by Robson. That one looks like it may have even scored. And here comes Lomachenko with a couple of hands thrown from the hip. The referee is going to call a caution to that for actually landing them on the hip. No surprise they landed on Robson's hip. They were thrown from Vasil's hips. Body shots that drifted a little low, according to the ref. And here comes Vasil, just continuing to throw punches. He does not tire. And down goes, nope, it looks like that one is gonna be it ruled a slip. It was the result of a lunging punch, but I suppose he may have tripped over his own foot trying to get away from it more so than going down as a result of the punch itself. And there's a sharp right hand by Lomachenko. Amazing how he's able to get in there like that and the taller boxers and the, the well-schooled taller boxers like Robson. But he does, he did. And now we see the Brazilian. Look at that, 13 to 10. Can Robson Chow do what many didn't think was possible? and eliminate Lomachenko from this tournament 
here in the semi, uh, excuse me, in the round of 16. So this is going to be interesting because the Ukrainian rarely finds himself down by three going into the third and final round. You know it doesn't make him comfortable. And this is a good opportunity, if possible, for Robson. You know, with a guy like Lomachenko, maybe the best thing you can do is stay away. That doesn't mean to not give him a fair fight, but what it does mean is you are the taller boxer. You know that he's going to try and find a way to get inside at all costs. He needs to land those punches. So what do you do if you're Robson? You keep circling. Keep your distance. Throw your punches. You don't have to ride your bike. You don't have to stay away. Just keep your distance. Use that jab. Keep circling. Look, Vassal now has to apply the pressure. He's in, at the disadvantage of having no choice but to continue to come forward. He's going to also open himself up for hops to counterpunching, perhaps in his haste, if the word is in his vocabulary, if the action is in his genetic makeup, that being of haste. Lomachenko, a very efficient boxer. Quick left hand right off the break by Lomachenko. That one could have snuck in. And Robson, again, don't mix it up with him. It'd be well served to stay away. And look how frustrated Lomachenko gets with his arms. A smart, by, smart move by Robson. That's a nice red, uh, oh, hopefully he doesn't get a warning. That's a nice veteran move by Robson. Lock up the gloves for as long as he could and then stick his hands up in the air to say it's not me, ref. Smart. He already got one warning for that, but it doesn't mean he may not be able to push the limits a little bit, but he's got to be careful. If he pushes it too far and gets a warning, that's two points in Lomachenko's pocket. Those will be critical points if he has to give them up. So down goes Robson. The timekeeper stops the clock. The referee issuing a caution to Robson for putting his head down and to Lomachenko for pushing down. Lomachenko ripping to the body. Again, they lock up. The referee going to caution Lomachenko from using his head. For using his head. Lomachenko feeling the urgency. He's halfway through this third and final round. He came in down by two with a score that he was not comfortable with, with a position in the scoring that he was not comfortable with. He rarely is losing, and he's rarely, rarely, if ever, losing in the third round. And now Lomachenko letting his hands go a little more. The referee is going to take a point to Loma, or rather give a warning to Lomachenko. That is tremendous. He'd already cautioned him more than once, at least once, if not twice, for hitting on the hips. And now, with two points going into the front pockets of Robson Konachow, one on the left and one on the right, this is going to be quite an obstacle for Lomachenko to come back from. It already was an even matchup in the third round. Now, the referee is going to take a point from Robson, or rather give a warning and add two to, co to Lomachenko. So the very two point, the very, uh, the two point advantage that Robson just enjoyed, he just lost it, just like that. And now a little infighting, the arms locking up. Lomachenko perhaps gets a, a resurgence of confidence after that last warning went in his favor. And again, trying to break his hands free, ripping a left to the body, a body shot, and down goes Robson Conchichow. Unbelievable. He may not get up from this one, folks. He's getting the count. The count's at five. It's at six. He is up. But that one was brutal. Out of nowhere, we told you earlier that Lomachenko has a vicious body shot. He showed it right there. Will Robson be able to continue, or is the referee going to take a point? He's going to take a point. It was a body shot, but the referee gives a warning. Another one to Lomachenko, a third warning, and he will be disqualified for that. But there's only 20 seconds left, and now Lomachenko just pouring it on. He senses the urgency. There's 10 seconds left, 
and Robson is gonna keep slugging away with him. He's gotta keep his hands up. He doesn't need another shot like that. Nice work. Robson goes down again with three seconds left. Lomachenko, very, very close here. This is gonna be a major upset, I can assure you. The gold medalist from 2008, the, the big favorite here in this tournament. Robson thinks it's over. It is over. He goes to his corner. His headgear is removed. Look at that. It looks like we may have seen the unseating of Vasil Lomachenko. It doesn't mean he can't make it back to the Olympics. There will be a continental qualifier for Vasil, and you can never count him out. He's just too dangerous. But now, as both boxers get called to the center, the Brazilian hand in the air. He believes he's going to be victorious here. The referee waiting for a sign. He asks both boxers to keep their hands down so he can raise one of them in victory. And the winner is Robson Concha Chow. He unseats by a one-point margin, 20 to 19. He unseats Vasil Lomachenko. Wow. This tournament is exciting. This tournament has been nothing but excitement. There's been knockouts. There's been early stoppages. There's been extreme, extreme athleticism seen from